Hi, my name is Jay. I'm 18 years old and I enjoy being active, skating, cricket, mountain biking. I also enjoy worshipping God and writing songs. Every week, all around the world, God's people study a set portion of the Torah, which is the first five books of the Bible. This week, we'll be reading from Deuteronomy 26 verse 1 to Deuteronomy 29 verse 8. In this week's portion, Moses gives the Israelites the instructions about bringing an offering called a first fruits offering. This offering was given from the first part of a farmer's crop. So when a farmer would go out into his field and he saw the first pomegranates growing or heads of wheat forming, he would tie a piece of string around them to mark them as his first fruits. Then when it was time for him to pick or harvest the crop, he would know which ones had come first and could set them aside to take to the temple in Jerusalem. Another thing about the first fruits offering is that it had to be of the highest quality. Dates in Israel grow best in the valleys, so if you grew dates in the hills, you could not bring a first fruits offering of your dates, because it had to be of the highest quality that dates can be. Peter's disciple named Clement wrote a letter to the Corinthians and explained to them that when God separated the nations, he chose Israel as his portion, the first fruits of all the nations. Therefore, he wanted them to be the highest quality of all the nations. He asked them to be the most pure and righteous. As he said to them in Leviticus 11 verse 45, you must be holy because I am holy. In Romans 11 verse 17 to 21, Paul explains that through Jesus, we have been grafted in which means joined to the people of Israel, as spiritual children of Abraham. This doesn't mean that we have to become Jewish, but because we've become part of God's special portion, we must too strive to be holy and live according to God's ways. Well, that's it for today. God bless you and have a great day.